the general concept is thoughts are ours to start with but thoughts are not me and so the moment i start observing the thoughts i can very well say suppose the thoughts say that ram i don't think you can make it so my mind is giving me a story that story may not be necessarily true that intelligence i can have only when i become an observer see and my mind is telling me that possibly the situation is insurmountable and the mind is telling me that person is going to create lot of problem for you all these are stories which are conjured up by the mind the moment i take it as a fact the moment i take it as real i am drowned but i can very well respect it and said oh yes right now i am having a thought that that person possibly can give me a lot of trouble in my place of work and now see i have distanced myself from the thoughts i have not completely uh, you know sort of eschewed it or i have not dismissed the thoughts i am giving its value but i am giving its right value i will give you another example i have a friend and that friend in my workplace whom i i heard he is sitting in a meeting and while we were discussing this friend of mine suddenly raised this voice he raised his voice when i was speaking something right now what would i think this fellow is now angry at me and i am the one who hired him and him being angry at me is unfair such ungrateful person he is that he in spite of me hiring him for the job he is now angry with me how dare you see one small uh, mistake i make within me can lead to a very big problem now what happened really that person raised the voice do i know whether he is angry with me or is he angry with the project is he frustrated because of delay is he just excited so he is raising the voice i have no clue and my thought is giving me a story that this chap is angry at you the moment i take it at face value i am so short going to spoil the relationship but if i look at it this way that i have observed that my, that person has raised the voice and so i think that person is angry you see the difference instead of coming to a conclusion that the person is angry and hence raised the voice i am looking at it in a more practical way in a more intelligent way that i observe that this person raised his or her voice and so maybe i think that person is angry so now i am not coming to a conclusion i am not dismissing the thought also i am giving its worth and i am putting it in its place by saying i think that you were angry so next time when i talk to him if i ask him my friend why were you angry with me yesterday in the meeting now that person has no idea what i am talking about possibly he was very excited and that's why he raised the voice and that sure is going to make him understand that oh this chap doesn't understand me properly and that will dent a relationship but if i tell him hey yesterday in the meeting you know what you raised your voice so i thought you were angry at me what happened even if the person was angry at me i am giving a chance for that person to mend the relationship and also showing the need that you jolly well not shout at me in a meeting that is how you cement relationships without making it even more deteriorated the same thing if you can do it what happens within also where i can say when i am thinking to myself ram you really really fouled up yesterday's performance or yesterday's meeting etc i am just going to look at it and then i am going to say yes i am having a thought that i did not do well yesterday simple you see and that is different from i am a failure i am no good i am worthless i i don't know if i can deal with all these things etc because the story which my mind is giving me should be qualified only as such as a story and the moment you try to understand this you can save yourself from unnecessary uh, you know corruption of the mind to weaken the mind okay and so thoughts are not always reality they are some stories and words at times it is telling us what really happened most often than not it is spinning a tale around what happened many of it can be observations many of it can be analysis judgments labels etc 
take it with a pinch of salt remember the complex equation in mathematics what really happened is the real portion what we thought happened is an imaginary portion i don't know that so together it becomes complex and that is the reason why the moment i have a thought i suspend my judgment whether it's real or not and i don't take it in face value each time it throws out a thought that way i make sure my life is protected from this uh, non intelligence of going by whatever the thought say and that strength of observing a thought without blindly following it or blindly being disturbed about it or blindly thinking it is true that intelligence comes from these practices which our rishis gave us which is the reason why we are doing satvika smaranam where that is one way of trying to enhance the positivity quotient to sort of uh, you know uh, work with uh, negative thoughts another way of that would be doing dhyana or doing maha mantra meditation where we bring that vitality the distance and it takes tremendous strength to have the distance and once you get the distance you become a very wise person okay so that is the beauty of understanding thoughts and its various uh, ramifications and as a, a summary remember thoughts are not real uh, it uh, it is just stories words and sounds and uh, don't ever think whatever i think actually happened maybe it happened it is just bringing its imaginary element also and thoughts are not always the truth so there is no need to believe them all the time and the, all thoughts are not important especially thoughts which are not useful to me to take action or to energize myself are not important at all just like how you would not spend too much time on an inna unimportant task or an unimportant thing you just brush it aside by saying i am having a thought that's all and thank you that's it and done and then remember thoughts are not orders we don't have to blindly obey them thoughts are not always wise at times we get some very foolish thoughts which is also fine and the thoughts are not threats the moment we have understanding of all that we can uh, in spite of so called uh, you know pressures and uh, uh, other uh, external circumstances we can have a very poised and a happy life uh, even if you practice a little bit the amount of strength you will have the amount of uh, cheer you will have in your heart is unimaginable okay and that is the beauty of this very simple half a line of bhagavad gita that a person who is uh, tatva with uh, the one who understood wisely uh, this is how life is he would quietly watch guna guneshu vartante iti matva na sajjate this is the third uh, uh, chapter i think it is the 28th shloka i think and uh, in bhagavad gita that half a shloka has so much of significance in it and uh, that's how we are trying to develop uh, our spiritual quotient 